they're already in the YouTube channel. They're very famous. Yeah? yeah, they have already so many followers, and they talk about the chi and they do the movements, and also very beautiful. But sorry, sir, why, why you are doing this? What is the benefit of your exercise? <laughs> In, in this Qigong movements, what we have, we have also, we have still Qigong, you know, mm -hmm. and we have still Qigong, uh, we, I will call that soft Qigong, no? still soft Qigong. Then we have soft movement Qigong, where you do movements very soft, okay? Still Qigong is when you only stand like this, you remember at the beginning stage, yeah. you stand straight, and this is already a still, still Qigong. Yes. And still soft qigong where you don't move then you have soft qigong where you start to move in a very slow and um, uh, i will say um, mm. focused manner yeah where you combine the breathing this is the buddhist qigong actually what we are doing now the 12 movements this i will uh, and actually um, these 12 exercises everybody can learn you don't need to you don't need to need to do a split you know, mm. and if somebody is really diligent to train in that kind of uh, movement and the form, he step by step can reach his goal to complete the form, you know, in one month, actually. Weird. Okay, we will say if, if he's really slow in three months, he can have the complete form learning by himself through the tutelage what we have. No? But if he come to me, I will push it to a faster pace, of course. Yes. yes. And uh, <laughs> and <laughs> it is it it is possible not for you only because you're athletic. You're an athletic person. You know already how your body moves. Mm -hmm. Even for a person who is who doesn't know where is right and left. Mm -hmm. You know, when I say lift your right leg, you know, then he do this. Yeah. I said leg, okay, then I lift the right leg, okay. <laughs> you know my meaning? Uh, yeah, yeah, but this is also, I don't say right hand, you know, I say lift your right leg and then people, they do this, okay. Yeah, I'm, saying, I'm sorry for like you. Some yeah. people from the course, like they post a video and, like, and they're doing, you know, the form and it's like clearly like oh, very old people, like this is, that's the thing. Like, it's good. Gets... No, this, this is good, but this mm. need to adjust. No, what, what we say already, this mm. is a soft Qigong, yeah. yeah where you learn step by step, first all the movements, and the movements are not very difficult. They'll help you actually, and this is also the principle in Chinese Qigong. They help you to stand firm on the floor, uh, on the ground, okay? Standing, you don't need to lie. Huh? Stand firm on the ground, so you can do it even outdoor, okay? And you don't need equipment because when you go yoga and you want to you want to do your yoga outside outdoor, yeah, you need to have your mattress or you have need some carpet, yeah. And sometimes the floor is wet, sometimes the floor is cold, sometimes the floor is dirty, and then you do your exercises. Okay, this is only one part, no? But in the Chinese way, or even what, what we have here no? in our Buddhist Qigong exercises, you you don't need any equipment. You can do it everywhere. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is also good. And uh, with a focused mind, you can do it. You can do all movements separately even. You only can choose one or two, three movements and you do it in a standing position. And uh, this is also give people also some, a lot of benefit no? in, in combination with the breathing. Yeah. Uh, this is also, this I only can say, I can, I can only say, this is also the small difference between the yoga part no? and the Qigong part, what we are doing. I will not say every Qigong master do that because I, I, I was in South Tyrol. No? South yeah. Tyrol is, is, South Tyrol, Tyrol. No? It's in the mountain area. Uh, it's between Austria and Italy. Okay, this is South Tyrol. It's a kind of independent state. Uh, they're already 50 years independent. No? And I was meeting also some Qigong masters. And uh, they do Qigong, they learn Qigong from the Chinese master. Yeah? I, I don't want to say who, okay? But when I, when I asked something about, do they know this, the, 
the uh, the acupuncture points and how the qigong actually need how the qi or the energy need to lead in which direction they say this is totally new things they never heard about that they only do some very feel the qi feel the energy you know all these kind of and then we are in the forest and now you can feel the energy and you can feel the 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 cosmic i don't know what kind of words they are using okay this is actually i was only like this I, i'm a i'm a practitioner of kung fu for three decades and i say what what are you doing actually who teach that yeah yeah my master he comes from china from peking you know and mm. and he do that i say yeah very good he's fooling around the westerners huh? okay mm. and i also mm. ask this is also the first it's also people with because we have the youtube we have the youtube and people also can research they can research the eight brocade movement you know the I Ching Jing movements you know and also they can learn in this kind of youtube uh, place where people can research and learn the forms the shaolin forms no? mm -hmm. and actually we have already uh we have already some shaolin masters they know that their form is beautiful to see it's very beautiful mm -hmm. and the benefit the benefit what is the benefit your shaolin kung fu master what is the benefit of your qigong exercises and they only do it like this yeah i feel good i say hmm this is actually not only the benefit this is an if you if you if you have a, a one i will say 30 minute walk in the forest you after that you also feel good you don't need you don't need some chi exercises and all these guys. we know my meaning this is also yes. and uh yeah this wow. is also the point where where some some kung fu masters no they they try now to approach me and uh asking for advice yeah? it's interesting like just to know like the difference between this some of the you know because i've understood like, there are certain masters that are quite high level in qigong especially like in europe and all over the world who are supposed to be at the very top position of, of the qigong like and then they're like thinking like they, they should come to learn from you and like, it tells that there's maybe something from the western world that is certainly like lacking it feels like uh, like yeah. like qigong is really little really doesn't have the essence in it in most practice at yep. all it's just yep. This, yep this is what i just said they are there they're already in the youtube channel they're very famous yeah? yeah they have already so many followers and they talk about the chi and they do the movements and also very beautiful but sorry sir why, why you are doing this what is the benefit of your exercise yeah and they will only look at me and say yeah i feel i feel good after that I feel warm, I sweat, I say, yeah, and then how can you express actually also your internal energy, the chi power? And if you are a kind of Shaolin master or Wudang master, you need to express, you need to express this kind of energy level chi power, how you can not only take the energy by somebody hitting your body punching your body you take the energy what the incoming force is on your body and you will have no harm okay That's wrong. and and if you like to the, the collect the chi what you have what you what you breathe for a certain time through your exercises how you can express this outwardly in me yeah and they say yeah if i can saying something like if i give somebody a palm strike this will be a dead, mm -hmm. deadly touch or something <sighs> nobody can say yes it is because they're not running around and hitting people no okay but they have this kind of imagination okay imagination is good okay but the real fact how they can uh how they can transmit the energy to another person this is lacking and this this actually is what i what i also show them that actually this is possible no? and this is also one part what qigong also can a part of qigong what it can do it you even have control control of your physical body you know 